Hi everyone! I thought this would be a fun game to play with you guys. It's an old wives tale and um, this is all for fun but it helps predict your gender apparently. I've seen a lot of other people do this and so I thought it would be really fun to try it out before we find out the gender of our baby. So I have a list of 13 questions that you can ask yourself to help predict your gender. Um, so the first one, here's my list. I hope you guys see that. Okay, so the first one is if you are carrying high or low. And I'm still pretty early in my pregnancy. I am 13 weeks and I'm like starting to get that bump where I just look bloated, but it's definitely like a little bump. So probably only really I can tell. But I think I am carrying low. I definitely have like a little bump down low. I definitely don't have anything high, but again, I am still early. So I'm going to mark, so carrying low means boy. So I'm going to mark boy. I hope this is not backwards for you guys. So the second one is acne or glow. Um, so if you have blemishes and acne, I guess it's a girl because they take away your beauty. Or if your skin's glowing or you stay the same, then that means a boy. I haven't really noticed any changes in my face, like any extra breakouts. If anything, it's I feel like it's helped me a little bit. So I'm going to go with boy on that one. Okay, so the next one is heart rate. Um, so the heart rate, if it's over, I think it's, if it's under 140, then it's a boy, and if it's over 140, then that means a girl. And the heart rate was 167, so that means girl. Okay, so the next one is salty or sweets. So apparently if you're craving anything salty, then that means boy, and if you're craving anything sweet, that means girl. And I'm usually the person who, I love a good fruit, I love chocolate, anything like that, and I am just craving salty and like sour stuff. Every we, Mitch and I went to the gas station the other day, and every time we stop for a treat, I usually like look in the chocolate section, but ever since I've gotten pregnant, I've been in like the sour and that kind of salty section and that's where he usually is too so it's kind of funny that we're picking the same treats and now we can actually share so salty is boy so right now it is three to one boy is in the lead so the fifth one is the Mayan calendar so let's see what this one says okay so the Mayan calendar how this one works is okay so like if age of conception is even and your month is even that means it's a girl so if it's the same but if it's opposite so let's say your age of conception is even but the month of conception is odd then it's a boy so i'm 24 so that's even we conceived in february so that's two so that's even so that means girl mine a uh, calendar is predicting a girl. So that's three to two. Okay, so the next one is morning sickness. I haven't really had morning sickness. Week six to 11, I was constantly nauseous, but I haven't like thrown up once. And like com hearing like all my other friends' stories and how they were doing on the pregnancy, I feel like I've had it pretty good and I haven't gotten that sick. So morning sickness means girl and not means boy apparently. So I guess that means boy because I haven't really been that sick. Okay, so it is four to two boys in the lead. Okay, so the next one is um, Chinese calendar. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so the Chinese calendar involves converting mother's age and the month of conception to dates of the Chinese lunar calendar. Then plugging those dates into chart that um, predicts the baby's sex. So, okay, so apparently to the Chinese calendar, I am having a, wow, boys are 
kicking butt right now. It's five to two. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one is swollen ankles. So if you have swollen ankles, then that means boy. Couldn't tell you why, but I guess that's what it is. Um, I have not had any swollen ankles or swollen legs at all. And I am early in my pregnancy, but I haven't had any of those symptoms yet, so I guess that means girl. Okay, so this one is, um, the next one is moody or mellow. And I was hoping that Mitch could be here to do this with me so that he could answer this one too. But we were talking about it the other day, and I feel like I've been very mellow. Like, mood's been consistent, just generally pretty happy. I think he would say mellow too, so I'm gonna go with mellow. Mellow is boy, and moody is girl, so I've been pretty mellow, so that's a boy. Okay, um, cold feet. So, if, apparently, if you get cold feet, it's a boy, and I have been getting cold feet. Um, I'm constant, I constantly have socks on me, or I have slippers, or a blanket wrapped around my feet 24-7, so I guess that means boy. Okay, the next one is dreams. Apparently, when you have a dream and you're dreaming of the gen a gender, it's the opposite of what, of what you dream about. So the other night, I had a dream that we found out it was a boy. And so I guess that means girl. I've only dreamt about it once, so I guess that means girl. So the next one is apparently, depending on the side that you sleep on, determines the gender as well. I sleep on both sides at night, but I guess the most comfortable, I mean the past two nights that have been most comfortable to me is on my right side. So right side means girl. Okay, last but not least, the Ramsey theory. So this one is interesting. It claims to be like 95% accurate. Um, so when you look at the ultrasound, um, you can tell if the placenta is on the right side, it means boy, and if it's on the left side, it means girl. And mine was on the right side, so apparently that means boy. Okay, and our concluding results is boys win by eight to five. It's yet to be determined, but we're finding out the gender soon and I am so excited. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.